Hey guys, it's me. Today we're doing a theory about the Anatronics and Five Nights at Freddy's, the first game. Purple guy killed so many kids and allegedly stuffed them into suits. What the animatronics that we see in the first game aren't at, don't have corpses in them, but just have the souls of the children. Now, this theory, you might be, it might be confusing, so listen up. What if when the purple guy stuffed those kids into suits, but it, they, he only stuffed them into the suits in five nights at the sis location, the sis location, because the sis location is the game that actually came first. Now, I know that's kind of confusing, but it makes sort of like a lot of sense, which is why the animatronics are just jump scaring some random dude, because they haven't yet found out who you are. And there, I've heard that there's a lot of chatter that Mangle is in the first game, which sort of makes sense, because she is in the sister location. So what if what happened to her, what would happen to her in the first game, somewhere happened in the space of the sister location in Five Nights at Freddy's 1? That's kind of confusing. That needs its own theory. But in Five Nights at Freddy's 3, you see the, the um, phantom of the puppet. It sounds like, like the Phantom of the Opera, I know, sorry. Don't copyright claim me. Which is why he looks very close to you, because he's looking at your eyes. He's looking for like a glowish tinge, aka purple, which in there it has sort of like um, a not human-like eye, you know, like he has the eyes of baby. He has several different eyes in the skin of the purple guy. So, maybe that's what the puppet is looking for, and he eventually finds out that that is not, that the purple guy is being used by someone, which is why he stuffs them into a suit. Any normal per person would have been killed by this, but not if they're an animatronic. It would only cause them to lose blood, which would cause their skin, aka the host that they're using, like a parasite, to die. We go to Five Nights at Freddy's 2. This, the mangle has already been destroyed, we assume, by, um, by what's left over of um, the sister location that couldn't come with the rest of them. And I know this theory doesn't sound very good, I am very tired. I just came up with this while I was um, literally sleeping. Well, it's not really sleeping if you got thoughts going in your head. It's just sort of like a restless sleep. So. If you're, if, if you are a nerd, you try to put as many parts of your friends together, except the useless parts, the ones that can't talk, the ones that can barely move, so you leave them behind underground, but they don't, nothing stays buried in, in Five Nights at Freddy's world. Also, if you watch, um, Game Theory, you will find that while you were freaking out in Five Nights at the sister location, that there was a schematic to Five Nights at Freddy's 4. And if you go to the fake ending, I, I, I'm not gonna spoil it for people who haven't done it. By the way, beat it, on, beat it on the first, on the hardest level. Me. Not, not me. I, I, I can't, I can't, I didn't. I'm a chicken. Uh, and this isn't even a theory anymore, this part. Didn't the ballerinas sir, that were attacking you when you were in the spring lock suit sort of look like paper plate men? Because I would scream each time there would be a paper plate men jump scare. Back to the theory. So when the purple guy killed somebody and got into the suit, it why would a normal person like the purple guy who killed so many people be scared of spirits? Because he's not normal. Innard was scared that those spirits would uproot them from their body and take the purple guy's soul. So, the purple guy's been long gone. He left a long time ago out of that body. It's just like a meat suit. Think of like, um, Silence of the Lambs. They want a suit so they can be something that they're not. And this really hammered home during the scooping room where they said, if only we could be like you, if we looked like you, they scoop you out, they're scooping out your bones, which must feel awful. 
But something, something else bothered me when we go to Five Nights at Freddy's, the first one. When you look at how Bonnie unhinges his jaw, it looks new. It looks like there's new metal. It looks like there's new everything. If these animatronics were as old as they say they are, then why is the metal new? And why does Freddy sound like a girl? Probably because he used to be the model that he is in now is a newer model. That's why when these are still children, after all, the souls of children. Even though their bodies are dead in a separate area, in a separate location, deep underground, in a system location, where it will never be found again. Which would also explain why the, um, why Inner destroyed them. It doesn't want there, it wants them to be part of that body forever. It wants what's ever left of those children to be with them. It doesn't want them to have any more options. Cause when, cause I think in Steven Universe, Jasper said the best, when you have no more options, you'll do whatever you can to stay alive and stay on top.